At last, Emily arrived at Brendam Docks, but she was starting to feel a little sorry for herself. What's wrong, Emily? Thomas, have you ever delivered anything exciting? Oh, yes, lots of times. Once, I delivered a jet engine? It started up, and I went flying across Sodor at supersonic speed. Oh, I've never delivered anything exciting. I bet you have, Emily. Think really hard. <gasps> well, there was that time I took Sodor United's football kit to the laundry. <laughs> Stinky laundry isn't exciting, <laughs> Emily. Not like a jet engine. <laughs> Stinky laundry. Stinky laundry. <laughs> Poor Emily. She wished that she had something really exciting to deliver instead of just sand. The very next day, Sir Topham had sent Emily off to collect a special. <sighs> it's bound to be more sand. But it wasn't more sand. Emily had to take a giant model of the world to the animal park. This is the most exciting delivery I've ever had. I can't wait to show the other engines. Emily chuffed up to the steamworks. But she didn't see any other engines to show the giant globe to. Hello? Anyone here? Victor? Kevin? Where are all the other engines? Then Emily saw Gordon up ahead. But by the time she reached the station, he'd gone again. Oh, no. Emily wanted someone to see her exciting delivery. So, instead of going straight to the animal park, <laughs> she decided to keep looking for other engines. And then there was trouble. Great, Emily. Can't you see a giant globe on my flatbed? No. There's nothing very exciting on your flatbed. Oh, no. I must have lost it. How could it have come off? <laughs> I'd better find it again, or I'll never get another exciting delivery. Meanwhile, the giant globe was going on its own little journey. Emily was searching everywhere. A great big giant globe like that can't just disappear. 